Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see how you're coming into um, the reading, Scorpio, in terms of love. All right, what's going on for love for Scorpio? What's going on for love? How is Scorpio coming into the reading? All right, the Queen of Cups. So that is a, a Scorpio card, Aquarius card also. Fixed energy. Um, so it's like maybe you're holding back you know holding down your emotions you're trying to stay emotionally stable so that means that something destabilized you or something has in the past or maybe there's a particular person that just brings a lot of upset the emotional upset um or this is the person that maybe you do this to maybe you upset them let's see yeah the three of pentacles so it's like maybe um you're watching this person you have the the will of fortune you're watching this person work uh, on something different. This could be a masculine energy. It's like you have to work with this person. I don't know if this is somebody you were married to, have children with, or you have some type of real estate with, or something of that nature. You have something of value with this person, and you guys were working on something, or you have to work together, or you have to work, or you go to work together. You work at the same place. But um, it's like something has changed, okay? Or somebody is trying to change, or... This person um, has a new group of friends or you're trying to change your, your, your group of friends. Maybe you guys share friends. There were mutual friends. It's like you're trying to change something here. You don't want to be a part of something uh, because it destabilizes you. Um, you want, I don't know if somebody's working hard to try to change your mind or you're working hard yeah, to try to change their mind. The tower showing up here. It's like all of a sudden this person, nine of cups, they want you, they want you back. They want you back in their energy, the Ten of Pentacles. They want their family back or they want the, the legacy back. They want you to be committed to what you guys were building. The Sun card, um, they, they could be expressing themselves. They could be sharing exactly how they feel or trying to show how they feel by way of buying you gifts or taking you on trips or giving you money. Um, this old, Somebody could have a baby or having a baby or... Somebody could have had a baby outside of a marriage or a commitment. Something was a final straw here. And it's like somebody is now trying to get the person to come back. Um, somebody feels like they don't have the power over the other person anymore. The power dynamic has shifted. Yeah, somebody has gone cold on them. And, you know, they're in that nine of pentacles energy where they can do for themselves. Yeah, they're trying to create abundance by themselves, for themselves. Either you... Scorpio or another person feels like this is a temporary setback, a temporary breakup. You guys are going to get back together. Yeah. And somebody's going to fight for this at any cost. Um, maybe somebody could even be trying to soil your name or your reputation. They just want to win. This person just really um, wants you to talk to them. They don't like the fact that you have, you won't negotiate with them or you won't compromise. You won't compromise what you know or what you feel or the fact that you've cut them off or cut them out. Yep. You cut off a loved one here. They want you to see that they change or that they will change. They want to come in out of the cold. They want you to stop uh, ignoring them. They want this to be over. This could be you too. What is the um, outcome here for this connection? What is the outcome? What is the outcome here for this connection? five of wands the seven of cups so it's like somebody is intuitively trying to intrude on somebody also um, maybe even energetically this is somebody causing a lot of little fires a lot of little fights a lot of pettiness um, to confuse somebody or to unravel them or get them unfocused or not focused on themselves or focused on moving forward somebody is creating this trying to create a narrative or an illusion again trying to keep you stuck are you trying to keep somebody stuck, uh, Scorpio? It's like somebody's trying to keep you stuck in your mind or, or cause havoc in your life or just cause drama altogether. It's like somebody is one is has always saw you as the one. They're committed. This is somebody from your past. 
they can be trying to resurface come back um ru rush back to you um but the coming in is a night they could also have you as an option yeah three of swords they're heartbroken maybe they shed tears about the six of cups they're thinking about the good times they really want you back what they're offering is the knight of pentacles and the knight of wands this person could want to apologize to you it could be a sagittarius it could be anybody they regret not saying things. They do not like this isolation that you have put them in. They want things to move forward. The advice for you, advice for Scorpio. It's like this person is just constantly taking over the reading. They just want you to know that they just want you back at all, any cost. Oh, the advice fell onto the floor. All right, let's see. Queen of Pentacles, remember your worth. Know your worth. Be focused on you. Be focused on your home. The building of yourself, your finances, um, maybe children if you have any. Uh, whoa, the Eight of Wands came out in reverse. None of the cards should be reversed. It says come out of this cycle of doing the same thing over, of infatuation, of obsession. Stop trying to equate infatu infatuation and obsession with love. It is not equal. It is not the same thing. And stop trying to equate sex also with love for some of you. Um, come out of of communicating with somebody because everything that they say is false it's not true eight of swords don't allow yourself to be stuck in this you do you can get out of this uh, just have a plan don't wait for somebody to try to take you out of this you know just continuously keep moving keep striving all right, what do we have for career and finance? All right, so we got the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Things are moving fast for you. You're going to see some profit within your career, your business, or whatever it is you do, as long as you stay dedicated, loyal, reliable, resilient. Dot all the I's and cross all the T's, especially if you do something like share your gift or a gift, a God-given gift, maybe of intuition or psychic abilities or just giving good advice. Um, you're gonna have some uh, victory here, but not before conflict. Something has to add up, it has to make sense here. Maybe you've been a bit too wishful about your dreams coming true, maybe about your own business, but you need to be focused more on business or making or taking action, having action plans here. Yep, because it looks like something Maybe two things that you do to earn income. One is going to eventually overpower the other or overtake the other. So it's going to kind of force you to make the decision to do one thing and do it very well. It says the grass is greener on the other side. You jump over there. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link Thank you, Scorpio. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Many blessings to you. Take care.